let's see how restore process works for PostgreSQL database instance. This diagram shows you how Stash restores the backed up data from backend in a PostgreSQL database. At first, a user creates a restore session CRD targeting the app binding of the desired database where the backed up data will be restored. It also specifies the repository CRD which holds the backend information and the task to use to restore the target. Stash operator watches for this restore session CRD and once the stash operator finds a restore session object, it resolves the respective task and function and prepares a job definition to restore. Then it creates a job to restore the target. The job reads necessary information to connect with the database from the app binding CRD. The app binding CRD contains the connection information of the database. The job gets the backend information from repository CRD and the storage secret repository uh, CRD respectively. Actually, the store, uh, repository CRD points to the storage secret repository uh, CRD for getting its backend credential. Then the job downloads the backed up data from the backend and injects into the desired database. Stash pipes the downloaded data to the respective database tool to inject into the database. Hence, restore job does not require a large volume to download entire backup data inside it. Finally, when the restore process is complete, the job sends Prometheus matrix to the post, get, post getaway and update the restore session status to reflect the restore completion. That's how the test issue process works for PostgreSQL database. We will come with a original de uh, real demo where we will show how backup and restore works for PostgreSQL database in test.